I hate to break the fishing news up your Amtrak, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations. You're one of the 13 listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for like an orgasm. You might want to mark that down. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get today. All right. All right. Uh, AMA Travel, I love you. Five days in Vegas was a lot, and I'm feeling her today. That's not AMA's fault. That's the NHL's fault. And partially also my your fault, fault for my actions. Yep. I feel great today. Got my home. ears haven't popped yet. Watched a little BB can last night. Went to bed early. Oh, fuck. Finale Lovely. coming up. Wonderful. Been a good season. Uh, so, how'd you do? Chalmers. Did the tables take us back? I went to Vegas with $700 cash. If you went in that wallet right now, seven hundred, you would find six hundred and eighty-five dollars because I spent fifteen at the airport buying I forget what I bought. So the things oh, that you spent wow. money on while you were there were winnings. Uh no, I never had any winnings to play with because I immediately lost the seven hundred in the first day and a half. Okay. I was down to my last <laughs> hundred and I worked it back. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Did you? Big shout out to the Oilers cover in the puck line. Bravo. Yeah. Well, and big shout out to Craps night one. Craps night one uh, saved me. I uh, dug you out of a hole. Yeah. Yep. Immediately lost. I, like, I dug me out of the hole. I put myself right. It's like I fell into a well. They rescued me. And I just turned around and said, ooh, that well looks like yeah, fun. But the the funny back. part about the story, though, is you lost all that money on night one when Jay and I were gone for like 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. You can't save your way out of a gambling loss. You have to bet your way out. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's only one way out of this. What's my way out? That dumb cliche, you know, 99% of gamblers quit before they hit big. <laughs> That's the one. Got to keep. Yeah. You do, you're the one. Percent. Chalmers, the night one crops. I I don't think I've ever experienced a hotter role. Who we, who was doing it? This super nice guy. Yeah, uh, nice who man. showed up to it. It's a fifteen dollar minimum. He showed up to the craps table with fifteen dollars. <laughs> That's a bold move, Cotton. And <laughs> he just went on the biggest run. I'm gonna like, say twenty five throws. It was at least an hour. There was a guy playing next to him who was playing a lot of money. And won so much that he just gave this dude a hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow. Because he really? was rolling so well. He and made just a lot of people a lot of money that night. So when he, obviously he put his 15 bucks down on. Just pass playing line. the pass, pass line. line. Yeah. yeah. So as he's winning, is he upping his bet on the table? Or not really. No, no, not really. That? And not just really. once in a while, oh, he would, he was dabbling on the field once in a while, yeah. I saw. I don't know if he got into the numbers at all. I actually think he was like me, where he just didn't really know what was going on. But he just like, like people were like, would play hard numbers and he would hit them and then they'd go and high five me. He's like, I just want everybody to win. I just want everybody to win. So did he get next roll? Did the person after him then give him the dice back? That's usually... Uh, Buddy, we all like cashed out left. after. Pretty it was much such the like, whole table cashed out. Yeah. Because like everyone was on a heater. 25 is big. I've been a part of like three big rolls in my life and they were... Below 20. 25 is a oh, long This was time. easily. I can easily. Like, I've had some long rolls myself. That one, this one was outrageous. Did the casino send over a guy, and then that yes. guy got black hooded, and then they, he went away? So, they, they, so uh, the minute they did it, I'm like, this is the cooler. Sure as shit. He throws it. He's like, oh, oh hey, man. You got to make sure you bounce off the walls. And sometimes he was, and sometimes he wasn't. So, called him on it. Said, nope, that's not that. Industry this plan. Roll, industry yeah, plan. This roll doesn't go. Industry Boom. Plan. Next one, seven. Did I'm the like, five dice cooler. get changed out at any point? Uh, well, that's yeah. a move of theirs. <laughs> he never, not on his, he, no. Yeah, he never threw it off the table. Get out of here, cooler. No, but see, they don't, like, uh, uh, the pit boss can come over and call for five new dice at any time, I think. Oh. It not on the Yeah, it didn't, didn't do change. it. Didn't do it, but yeah, no, they send in a cooler, and it, and, it, and he cooled him immediately. Like, yep. Immediately. Stopped his next roll. Nope, this roll doesn't count. Boom, seven. After those things, it's so funny how the seven hits and normally people are devastated. But in that moment, everybody's just like, okay, hey, whatever, man. That was unbelievable. Oh, it was funny to see like everybody that. putting chips on the table. We're like, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. Then we went to the same table the next night and our boy was there. Just if we're going to eat raspberries while we do I this. Apologize. Yeah, you guys, I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. I um, apologize. And our boy was no, back. No, no, no. Not money. more people eating raspberries. Because he made money. Less raspberries. And we proceeded to have what was the coldest craps cold. experience. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You know, it was one of those ones where it's like 150 gone in three like, minutes. It was, yeah. Like, it was just bloop on the table and... Off bye -bye. the table. 777. <laughs> done. And so, those two craps tables experiences... I saw that there was a video lottery terminal. No, no horses. Buddy, how dare the you disrespect the plastic ponies like that? We hit the mega bonus on the fake ponies. 
What is mega a mega bonus, bonus on fake ponies? What were the odds? Uh, <laughs> well, we had a dollar on the square and we won 1300 Yeah. So what? $1,300. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is you play like your normal horsies yeah. and then there's this thing in the corner where you bet a dollar or, or you, I guess you can bet more than a dollar yeah. and it spins the six numbers and it, it's you have to hit the, that gives you the order from one to six of the race of the race. And we hit it <laughs> six for six. And the best part about it is it was, it was a squad bet. We did a wind kit. So $20 in. So the four of us were jumping around like crazy and screaming. Oh, yeah, and it, was it was fast. <laughs> yeah. And then we, Sean got us a table at a cool restaurant and we had a good yeah, night. Went for a real um, nice, uh, and the nice dinner. thing too. I was talking to my girlfriend about this. We're going to get a little like extra because Sean's going to get us our taxes back. That yeah, happens when you win with an accountant. Yeah. 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 I'm like, can you get this back? He's like, give me the ticket, please. <laughs> Bag Milk has a great photo. I, of- I, I, sorry, I'm lost here. Oh, because she goes, "Are you guys, you guys are Canadian, right? We're like, yep. She goes, I'll need to take 30% of this. Anything over twelve hundred bucks, Chalmers, they'll take. If yeah. you win over twelve hundred dollars, they're gonna take. And we were like, can we, yeah. and we're, they take it right there at the casino. Yeah. So yeah. we were like, can we bet it down? Because then we yeah. would have just bet it down, lost hundred on the ponies. Oh, like and they're then, claiming that. What if you won again? <laughs> that we joked yeah. about that. We we're like, what if we just like went heavy to try bet it down, yeah. and you just never stopped? Where's the line? Vegas yeah. is like, and that's we're right, still playing, trying to bet it down. Bet yeah. it down. Bet Don't it come down. Home. So they they then uh, so Tyler takes the hit. Uh, so, because it has to be named, like one person's name has to go on it, and they basically hand them what looks like a T four. <laughs> but Bag Milk has a great photo of me with like a shit eating grin, because she goes, "Are you ready?" And I was like, eh? and She goes, "Hold out your hand," and I hold out my hand. And she goes, "One, yep, two, yep, three, and yep. counts it out into my hand." It, fucking baller moment. Did you like put it on your forearm like an Instagram wrapper? <laughs> no, should have. Like the f- you know, I could have done the Evander Kane. Hold Whoa. it up to the ear. Oh. The funny like thing, thin Motorola flip phone worth of money. But it was also hilarious, too, because <laughs> yeah. we were literally probably 50 feet from the ponies, and Tyler goes, we need to split up this money. You can't let me have this money in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know myself. Yeah. <laughs> we hit, so it's funny, we hit it. Like, the payout for that race was like a two-to-one snoozer, oh. and we're just sitting there going like, yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, what the hell? <laughs> These guys did a two-to-one? We doubled our money. Yeah. Oh, fire. So That's good. That's gangster. I remember back in the day, the old ponies in the corner at Palace when you could smoke in casinos and like the super elderly men had like a bucket of ashes oh, yeah. and they're sitting there with like five rolls of quarters and you're there for a day. Well, well that's what it's all about. Vegas. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Just saying, hang out, yell at the ponies. There's no rhyme or reason why any of them win. No. The great. day before I hit a 222 to one hit. On yeah. The he was are smoking they the ponies. Like the old school ones are they're going down the stretch and then like their legs would fall off. It's not the Sega ones. And then the yeah. field would pass them and people would be losing their shit. Because the old game used to be made by Sega. This yeah. one was not. This one is Konami. But they're actually little figurines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The best. So good. Uh, they're great. They were yeah. a good time. Bagmel took a good vote, uh, video of one of the races. Yeah. yeah. So can you just freely video in casinos? Like with your phone. You're not supposed yeah. to do it at the tables. I got in trouble when yeah, I was Yeah, they trying. yell if you're on your phone. What do the they table. say, though? What do they do? No phones. That's yeah, it, just though. no phones. Put your phone away early. Because I wanted to take pictures of us all playing craps the one night when we sure. were winning. They said, no, yeah, put the phone away. Well. Mm-hmm. Anyway, shout out to AMA Travel for a great time. Shout out to South Island Pico as well. Jamie and everyone down there. Use promo code NATION20. Get yourself 20% off some meat pies. Mm. Oh, I got pies in, in the freezer online. downstairs, I think. Yes, yep. we do. Okay, let's get those after. Um, behind the scenes at Nation HQ, we have Brandon is our new intern starting today. He started at one o'clock, so he's 45 minutes into his internship. How's it going so far? Well, the experience so far for him would be Thumbs me up. saying I'm 15 minutes late. Yeah. yeah. He then sees me run in with a suitcase full of gear. Immediately begin eating raspberries. And now he's watching four guys eat raspberries while they do a podcast. Three guys yeah, eat about raspberries. About gambling, apparently. Three guys eat raspberries. About casino gambling. Yeah, about how we bet on plastic ponies. Not so a I'm word sure about great. ice hockey. Yeah, not yet. It's all connected, though, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. When you were down there, did you have the opportunity to take in the local hockey team playing a team of Canadian heroes? Um, Yeah, we did. And boy, game two was a good time. Oh, man. A real good goddamn time. And game one was close to being good, despite the Oilers' lack of effort. Yeah. But man, did they show up in game two. We have uh, we've recapped this all because we did two pods. We did yeah. two editions of this pod. Well, you while we to me. In real life. I, I want to know how it went, which is why I think it's funny because now like you don't know anything about our trip yet. But everyone listening to this podcast is hearing all these stories uh, for like a second time. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, anyways, Charles, there was a ton yeah. of Oilers fans in there on yeah. Saturday though. It, the vibes were amazing. Flew home on the same flight as McDavid's parents. Yep, they fly commercial with the plebes. Austin Matthews' parents are not flying commercial. No, I can oh, just see, I can just see it, Connor be like, "Hey, I can get you a jet," and they're yeah, like, like, "No, no, no. Connor, uh-uh. no, nope. that is your money, Connor." Yeah, Connor, you yep. bought us a house. They don't. Yeah, that's enough. 
Your mother and I are fine. Uh, I'm Mr. McDavid in the story. We saw a lot. We saw like Amo's parents while we were down there, yep. and there was a uh, quite the collection. Saw Gene. Saw Gene That's twice. An epic photo, Jay. You yep. look like you're on the broadcast. Saw Hunter Ryan again. Saw Hunter. Ryan. Always see Hunter Ryan. It's saw the playoffs Louis? years. Saw Louis. You, Louis. Can tell, you can tell when Gene's in a hot climate because he's the same color as you. Yeah. And you're dark. You got very olive me, skin. Me and me and Gene. And me and Gene can get into a tan off. Well, we had a good pool session one day because mm-hmm. we like we had the two days in between, like trying Sneak not to be drinks? a degenerate. No, just went and like took a nap. Oh, yeah, you fell asleep. I sat on my phone. It was nice. Tyler counted windows on the hotel. Is what he actually did. <laughs> sports betting. It's very therapeutic. You're sports betting. No, I actually just sat there and counted all the windows. Like, I was gonna lie on my side. Betting. <laughs> Could have. What are you doing? Uh, counting windows. Parlay. <laughs> uh, but and then Jay quizzed me and tried to have me guess how many hotel how many hotel rooms are in different hotels. That was yes, a lot of fun because we because our our backdrop on our room was New York, New York, and the T Mobile. Yeah. rink arena center whatever you want to call it <sighs> and so i asked him how many rooms are in new york new york and you, you weren't too too far off globally speaking no nope. then i asked the hotel for which he counted one side of one of the wings yeah. windows I was and wow he was way off i guess like 600 the answer was like four thousand. Like, ah fuck as <laughs> someone as a group who lived through the decade of darkness do you get PTSD when you see fan bases getting excited for the draft lottery? No, I get PTSD when Dallas Aikens is strolled out on the panel every other bloody night. How's the analysis been? Terrible, man. He was like the first night. He's like mad at Kevin Lowe on the air and shit. It was yeah, weird, so biased. Really? Eh? So weird. Yeah, he's not great. So at this. what's interesting? Again, I I take in a lot of hockey media. I talk to a lot of hockey media people behind the scenes. You talk to Edmonton media to this day. Not a good thing to say about Dallas Aikens. Well, donuts, man. For the most part, they will talk shit about him yeah. from everything he did while he was here to the way he acted on his way out of town. You talk to media people outside of Edmonton. They like him. Dallas is a great guy. Oh, my God. He deserves a shot. Great guy. I saw him on the Toronto broadcast last night. He was a completely different dude. Yep. Like, he was trying to laugh with his weird face. Remember? But like on the Edmonton one, he was, like, dissing the team. It was very strange. They gave him that weird when they greased him, that, like, exit press conference, which was odd, right? Remember they like let him Gave him his go. chance to yell at everybody. Well, and he said in that press conference, he goes, oh, like I'm staying in Edmonton. Like this is where my family is. I love the city, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like five days later. It was like, no, he's moved to Vancouver. And he just like told, he's just a little bit of a bullshitter, eh? Yeah. He lived like 10 doors down from where I live now. Really? Yeah. Right by his house. I made fun of him with a tweet. I was looking at his stats and like, they ain't there, man. For a guy who's like, I know best. His like career winning average is .408. But he's the a, AHL, he's a dog. He's two like the best he AHL good. coach ever. Two years. He made the playoffs two years. It was four years in the A. In the A? Yeah. Okay. So you probably had the one good year with the Marlies, the one good year. I guess it might have been COVID shortened with uh, the San Diego Gulls. I'd hire him to be my AHL coach if I was running a team. Would you? I think his, like, and I listened to it the last interview he did with Frank. Like, he does have some interesting, like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Philosophies. On like how to dietary li- restrictions that too, but like how to live your life as a professional athlete. And when you listen to him, you're kind of like, ah, like I'd like to have this guy talking to the youth of my team. And he just strikes how to be me pros. as smug. He strikes me as a guy. Oh, who's like, I know best. And like, yeah. is that who you want building the minds of tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah, you look no. at w- Coach Woodcroft. The Love positivity him. coming out of that guy. So what do you think with the backup Zamboni driver? He's an integral part of this team. We love having him around. He doesn't have a bad word to say about And I've about got anybody. his ring size already. Yeah. Like, huh. And, like, I could see playing harder for a guy like that that's constantly pumping my tire, especially kids today that don't yeah. exactly respond to, like, people talking down to them, right? Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah, that's I, interesting. You know what, your M-Track? We're going to keep him away from the AHL team you and I have together. You know what? One day. One day we agree to disagree. That. Yeah. We're not allowed to. <laughs> we'll let the board vote on. I feel we'll like bring Tyler Iron should... Mike Keenan back from China. I don't want to recap too much of the Vegas again, but I feel like you guys should hear about Tyler's new uh, kink that was unlocked on the strip. I feel like we don't need to keep making this a bit. Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing about that. Is it a bit? I don't know that it was a bit. An interesting start to the second hour of Brandon Douglas's internship with the nation. It's going to take a left Uh, turn, my friend. Yeah, okay, you can... Do you want to share? Turn your body camera off, officer. (laughs) We were walking, just cruising the strip, taking pictures, doing as you do. We were in a line. Me, then uh, then Tyler, then Jay. Nothing so far. There was those, there was the girls that always want to stop you for photos on the strip. No, don't know. The scantily clad ladies. If you They know. take a picture with you. Well, they want you to and then pay them 20 bucks for it. But anyway, okay. so there was these two dressed like cops. Ooh. 
And we're walking up to them and they go, which one of you is the bad boy? And I go, oh, easy. The one right behind me, which was Tyler. And he got a smack on the ass that was a hard. real hard one. Look at his whip. face. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> he unlocked Young something. Oh my God, the, the noise he made after. <laughs> something got unlocked at a core level that just opened a door for Tyler because he goes, he goes, I think I liked that. Oh, no. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> I am not. And you know it. And you know uh, it. Well. Let your freak flag fly, your M truck. Lean into it. Especially on a podcast. Well, wow. <laughs> it's the, always the spot you want to let your freak flag fly. Now people well, know when they see you. Look I at his know, face, though. He's beating. Like, oh, piss humor. And then, <laughs> Poo good, humor. A good pissing joke. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> well, getting your ass slapped? Come on. Did you get a photo of say? That's worth 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, man. If, if I, I knew what back. the reaction we were getting, I wish I video the whole thing. I could see your be like, no, they already spanks me. That's their mistake, not mine. Chris Chalmers has sat emotionless while hearing that story. I haven't. I'm sorry. I haven't been listening he to the word. He's zoning it out. He's trying to, <laughs> trying to find something that's lost. I'm out. trying to find something. That, I am on my cell phone right now getting messages from my wife because she was called up to high level for work <laughs> to cover the forest fires. I gave her my iPad so she could watch shows because there was going to be some downtime. Yeah. And she left it there at the hotel that she stayed at Sweet. in my level. Probably because she was told to evacuate immediately. Yeah, she's no. in a war zone. <clears throat> no, she just not used to traveling with it. I'm, I'm not mad about it. This thing's happening. Oh, really? No, you, oh, I'm you not see, mad at all. Yeah, no, you see no, what, do they, what do they win they, when they win the news awards, Jay? Not the Pulitzer up here. What do they get? Like the Canadian news awards that Aaron oh, will win. Uh, the Peabody? Oh, is it a peep? Oh, the Aurora like Borealis? Yeah, it's something like that. Anyways, when she Gemini's. wins the National News Award for Gemini. that story, Chalmers, yeah. you lost an iPad for her to be among the greats. Well, no, it's found. Oh. So at 11, she thought that she left it in the news truck, whatever, this morning at 11 o'clock, she tells me that it is not in the news truck and that mm-hmm. can we search the location of it? Don't know why I didn't think of this first. So I look. Sure as shit, it's in the hotel that they stayed at. So I... It's dead. So I lock it. I put this iPad is lost. She calls them. They say they do not have it. I tell her that it has been tracked and that it is definitely there. So call them back. She does. And of course, uh, oh, it's it's tracked. Oh, oh, you know, it's here. Well, let me just. Oh, sorry. What color was it again? Oh, an iPad. Yeah, the wrong color. Oh, an iPad. Oh, yes. We were looking for a toaster. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) We have a typewriter. Our bad. Oh, you said iPad. But it won't turn on, miss. I'll go get a charger and I will call you back when it has some batteries and you can tell me what it looks like on the inside. So this is about an hour and a half ago, and I've been waiting for it to turn on because it will then activate on my phone saying this iPad has been found. That just happened, and I'm messaging with her. They say to her, what is the screensaver? They want to make sure it's mine. They want the password, but I don't want to give it to them. Never, never I give said, I have no idea what well, the screensaver send is. Send your because- sin, too. Yeah, and please send your sin. And if you wouldn't mind the CVV on the back <laughs> of your... Yeah, we need both your parents' mother's maiden names. So I send a picture of the thing saying, this is what it should display when they turn it on. And as I send that, all of a sudden I get the alert that it has been turned on. And now I'm it's back off again. I think she's on the phone with them. She is now online on WhatsApp, so we will get to the bottom of this. But it's in the meantime, doing all that, I locked my own phone. And then I had to turn lock, unlock it. I put it on lost mode by accident. I mean, just a gift that keeps on giving, this favor of giving my wife an iPad. Hour two of the internship. One guy said he liked getting spanked on the pod. Yep. Another guy in a cowboy hat so is said, that what you guys said are- sorry, I'm not listening. <laughs> so, so, is that what you got? So spankings. Okay, so this is getting good now. Oh, okay. the, oh yeah, it was oh, good. No, it was we fine. told it. Yeah, sorry, man. That's okay. At least sorry, you told man. us what you were thinking about. Yeah. You know, at least you That's took a- away all Tyler's weird. I mean, you went to Vegas. You got spanked. Mentum. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's fair. That's where I'm at. Do you want me to tell you my story now? Because it ties into my wife being gone. Sure. I have a little story about my kids that happened last night. You guys might find this humorous or you might not. I don't really know. Don't or really kids. care. <laughs> uh, Doesn't so matter. We get home from our second baseball game Sunday. Lots of sports. And it's about 6 o'clock. I've ordered dinner. Aaron's going to be there about 6.20. Without an iPad. The one thing, without an iPad. The one thing when your wife goes out of town for four days is you want to show her that 
hey. I moved on. Everything's under control. <laughs> yeah, I moved on. That everything's under control. All the your shit's is, in the front lawn. I moved on. got one of their kids at the a house hotel. Is, the house is clean. The is kids are the fed. Yeah. The dog has been walked. Life is good. Uh, I want her to come home to a not chaotic house since she has been in chaos for five days. So Nobody's say, moved on. I say to the boys, well, I give this house a 20-minute cleanup. You guys take the dog for a walk. Oh, and no. she shows up. The, 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 the food will be here. We'll sit down to a beautiful dinner and then... And then we'll get on with the night while they go for the walk. And as they're walking out the door, she shows up. They give a hug. I say, okay, quick walk. Come right back. Me and Aaron go inside. My wife, when she was walking about two weeks ago, she got startled by a very scary man in the ravine. She got very scared. She walks the dog alone a lot. So... She was feeling very uncomfortable not having something that could help defend herself. So we bought her a bear spray, basically a coyote dog and bear spray that we would then attach to the um, leash of the dog. It would always be there and she could defend herself. Can I yes. chime in? I'm having a hard time imagining how this gets humorous, but continue. Well, it's dark. Yeah, it's, it's darkly funny. Okay. So we put it on the leash. We tell my kids what it is. Oh, we no. tell them the story of what happened in the ravine because we yeah. like to be very transparent with them. So Erin gets home. She's in the house for five minutes. I'm helping her unpack her bags. And my youngest son runs in the door crying, help, help, help. And I go, what the fuck? I run to the back door and he's holding his eyes and he is very scared and hurt. And he goes, Logan, spray the spray. And it went in my eyes. And I went, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is why people want gun control. It's always people shooting themselves. So the first thing I think of is, okay, the eye and the inhalation care is on the thing. I can't believe Logan would spray this at you. This is crazy. So I run out the door and I yell, Logan, get here. I need the bottle. He runs up. He's crying. <laughs> I think he's just crying because he's scared. He knows what he did. He's pissed off. I grab the bottle out of his hands. I run inside and I start to look at what to do. He is also crying, not because he is scared, but because it is also in his eyes. Oh, no. And his <laughs> eyes are red. Did Leon do it? <laughs> yeah, we would think. This, That's dog, by this the way. spraying mechanism has a thing where you have to turn the nozzle to the right in order it. for the thing to line up and then spray it. It sprays out in the street. Well, curiosity killed the cat that day, my friends, because they decided they wanted to see what it looked like when you sprayed it. Not the smartest thing I've ever heard. They fucked around. They <laughs> fucked around and they found out. They sprayed it up against a fence and it was windy. And they didn't take that into account and it blew back into their faces. So now they are about half a kilometer from our house. Both Can't with see. bear spray in their eyes. Can't the really neighbors see. are probably like, what the fuck? So as they tell the story, so it's chaos. My wife just got home. It's chaos. They've just sprayed themselves in the face. This wasn't the welcome you wanted. Spray. So we get them both in the showers. We get the water in their eyes. We're flushing them out. I'm going back and forth. I'm mad. We, so then we finally get them to calm down, and they reenact them getting home. Well, they couldn't really see. They were falling into bushes. They were stumbling into <laughs> trees. It was oh my God, chaos. It was <laughs> my one son said that he fell into a bunch of, like, uh, hedges. And that he's like, I couldn't get out and I couldn't see and I didn't know what to do. And I was just could not believe that my very, very relaxed night with my wife getting home had turned into probably <laughs> the most chaotic scene. How long did it take for like 20 minutes? And well, then 20 okay. minutes. But they already, how long between the spraying and getting home? Two minutes. They got home that fast? They like ran. Stumbling in the bush they falling? ran. It was about what? two minutes, they said. Maybe a quarter of a kilometer. They sprayed themselves in the eyes with bear spray, buddy. <laughs> what you, in the hell are they doing? You didn't get Aaron a flamethrower. Well, what do you what do you put in their eyes? <laughs> yeah, no I'm kidding. So, so they're sitting there and they're washing. <laughs> they're washing their eyes out. Okay, so here's and I'm just like I'm like, oh come on, you stop crying, stop crying. And then I'm like, you know, you know what? Keep crying because it's actually helping getting it out. Keep crying. And I'm like washing it out. But then is I go, milk supposed to help? Well, like, I was just gonna say, did you see that video of the no, guy? It said, yeah, it's just dumping. So it said, don't face. put, don't use anything but water. Okay. And it said that the pain should start to go away after five minutes, but to do it for twenty minutes. 
and it's about 10 minutes in and I'm like, is this getting better? Like, boys, like, what are we doing here? And it was, and... Oh, I feel bad for him. I know, buddy. I've never felt worse for them. We had like, I just, afterwards, I was just like, oh my God, you guys, <laughs> what are we doing here? So then I go and take a shower and I don't, I swear to God, I hadn't gotten soap in my eyes for 10 to 15 years that I can remember. <laughs> I got soap in my eyes by accident yeah. and I was like, oh, it stung and it was soap. And I was like, they Chalmers, just went through this Jesus for like on behalf of your minutes. sons getting back <laughs> yeah, at getting you. Back at They're me. like, you know what? Let's hurt his eyes too. This is ridiculous. I yelled at the second one, the oldest one that sprayed it when he got into the house that because he came into the kitchen crying when we were trying to deal with the one who I thought had been sprayed in the eyes only. And I was like, go to your room. And he's like, I got it in my eyes too. And I'm like, what? Okay, get in the shower. <laughs> so which one shot? And which... The older one. So the second one that came in? Yeah. 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 And the one that had the dog. And the dog was like pulling him away, trying to sniff like trees and I stuff. Oh, it's the dog. And he's like, I didn't know what to do. I thought the younger guy would have shot the older guy. I thought the young... This is not an older guy thing. Like, man, the older one... Topsy would... turvy investigation. And... I just don't understand. And somehow the dog came away unscathed in the totally. whole situation. Didn't get in his He probably just like, what is going on with you? I don't ever want to go on a walk with these two ever again. <laughs> it lasts a half a kilometer, quarter of a kilometer, and then it ends up running home. But man, Go it was chaos. So I basically just looked at my wife. I'm like, we got to get it. Welcome gun. home. Yeah. You're like, she, hey, where's everything's the under control. <laughs> Welcome she back. the newsroom. She said, any chance I can go back up to high level for a week? And I was, <laughs> no. So it was yeah, insane. It's less chaotic man. Up it was. There. I don't know if anybody's ever sprayed themselves, but I were. lived with uh, my my old roommate had to get it because he was doing the police thing. Yeah, and I remember he was fucked up for a while from that. So I can only imagine your two boys like they're. <laughs> I was in a bar that had that where pepper spray was sprayed, yeah. and just like how it does for like the air, like Fuck to breathe it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it was, was wild. Terrible. Someone got pepper sprayed at they a bar. They were playing room? pool and they pepper sprayed each other. Probably about the pool. as you do. That's the same time, right, Jay? Uh, no, the one I'm talking about was I was at the well, a, a bar that's in the basement. Oh, I see. No, yeah. I'm talking about a chain of bars. Mm. Early on, interesting. Somebody was playing pool when I saw, and the guy just pulled out pepper spray and pepper sprayed the other guy after the game. And I was the, like, the whole room's got to clear. Yeah, everybody waited a shot. Uh. I guess the good news is we know the stuff works. Yep. Guess there's a silver lining. Hey, sketchy guy in the ravine, you better fucking stay to yourself. Yeah. Because they'll get you. Chalmers will get you. I cannot believe it, man. Or, they, oh, or they'll know. get each other. They'll get each other before they'll get you, buddy. <laughs> they sprayed it at a fence. All sixes and sevens man, about that. that right like, now. that sounds like a scene out of a movie. Oh, yeah. Just like, yeah. To see them running back to the house. Like, stand by me. I would oh. be going to my neighbors being like, can I have your ring doorbell footage from, uh, like, whatever. Just seven, yeah, piece it all seven together. Well, seven, we, ten. Should, we should find out from where. Like, they're, they they know exactly what house because it's a friend of theirs oh, that they did it out front of. Oh, yeah. I should actually ask for the ring camera <clears throat> footage if That'd they have so one. That would be so funny. That would be good. I never even thought of that. That'd be like you play it on their wedding day kind of shit. Yeah. Like, that'd be fun. Oh, yeah. This is the yeah. moment when they decided to see what bear spray was like. You think they're going to get married to each other? They're brothers. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chalmers. All right. That's, That's not against the boy. That's against your M truck. Mm -hmm. Update on the iPad. Still not found. Well, it's been found. It's just not in great One hands. minute ago, it was turned How on. How fast do all these people to move? They're not in their iPad recovery and removal business. They're trying Someone to Someone really out. wants that iPad. Yeah, yes. somebody wants your iPad. The I town's on fire. I, You're honestly, like, hurry, hurry. Like, getting it back, I could, I'm 50-50 on that. Could care less. There's but 200 people in the lobby getting, like, emergency Would you be like, uh, I'm Aaron Chalmers from Global That's News? That's what she did. I mean, it's like, and, yeah. It's like, we stayed with you, and we, like, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. What's the name of the investigator that fixes problems? The consumer, oh, oh, oh uh, Queen Latifah, no, didn't it? Oh, like on the news, <laughs> Ray Chalmers. Donovan. Uh -huh. No, no, like on the news, they have like the guy on Global. Yeah, when, like the roofer steals all your money. He goes into cost him at the church. Oh, parking lot. oh, it used yeah. to be Vanesh at Problem one point. Problem solvers, crime. Yeah, what the hell was it called? Mythbusters. Yeah, it's something like Anyways, that. Community that's what you send up there to fix it. The cleaner. Oh, uh, should I get to the bottom of that? It'd be a really weird text for me to send her in between all these messages about a lost iPad. Who do we send yeah. up? You there? remember that thing? Crime Stoppers. <laughs> that they used to do that's not Crime Stoppers. Community Watchdog? Crime Crime Stoppers was like the uh, Our school in junior high had junior high Crime Stoppers where we were all encouraged to snitch on each other and they put posters everywhere being like snitch question mark here this time and it worked man. Oh, People be the, snitching. What the hell was it called? Every town has one. They're like, we sent in the blah, yeah. blah guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, like there was a name for the segment. This guy sold rugs but didn't sell four rugs. He only gave them one. That type of shit. Yeah. What's it called? I'll find out. Yeah, I'll find out. Great. Keep going. Keep going with the. You're gonna ask the internet or a person? I'm gonna ask my wife. No, ask the internet. Oh, oh, I have a funny feeling we might get a quicker answer here. Yeah, from the Google. No, from from his wife. You went Bing. Oh yeah. Yeah, you binged I, it. Yeah, I binged it. People right now are like yelling it at their. Well, I know yeah, it's like, they these are. guys are idiots. These yeah, guys are, are idiots. idiots. I just spent five days in Vegas. My brain is. It's not somebody working. who fixed, like not fix, but but makes things right. Well, yeah. Yeah, someone got wrong. What's a word for that? Someone got ripped off. The wrong writer? The, the wrong writer, yeah. The wrong writer. The wrong writer, yeah. That yeah, community wrong Nailed writer. That, Did anyone that, Google it? I mean, you all have... I just I'm Googled Googling it. it. Just, nothing's coming. Yeah. Like the Google's churning and there's nothing happening? Well, it's just sending me down a rabbit Community hole watchdog? I, I want to say consumer report, but that's where you used to buy a Walkman. That was consumers distributing. Mm. You don't remember consumers You wouldn't even know what, what it was. It was a Westbound West Mall when I was a child. Nope. Consumer matters? Nah. Kind of. Cause that's but the, like the, the better business bureau, because <laughs> that's when that's what's listed on global. Consumer matters. I don't feel like no. that. Yeah. Something snazzier. But yeah, this one was like, like this is like an industry term. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like weather reporter. You're the guy <laughs> yeah. who goes when local crime the, watchdog. The car dealer replaces your oil with. Freezing. Oh my god! Yeah. This is. It's gonna drive me crazy. It's well, it's driving. And me the thing crazy. is. There's got to be someone listening right now in that their does car. This for a living? Or no, that knows the name, and now they've just spent four minutes yeah. of us being like, God, we, what could it be? We already said that. There's, like we said there's a bunch of people listening probably just yelling at you us. You know no that. one's listening to this. It's our secret shame. We aren't listening to this podcast <laughs> in the moment. Even. And we're on it. But someone will be listening to this. Hundreds of years from and now. they're going to be like, you idiots. It yeah. is the consumer blah, blah, blah. And then when I said what I just said, they'll go, you idiot. He just said that. Exactly. What a podcast. Seems like a good time for us to step aside for a quick break. You have to pay with your time to listen to this oh, shit. Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to come back from break. Did Eric tell you that? Yeah. <laughs> tell her she's smarter than Google. Oh, oh wow. The best. Well, pew, pew. Can, can I forgive her for leaving the, the Troubleshooter. Can give us a working run of different hosts who've taken on that role? Uh, there's this Best Western in uh, yes. High Level. I Send the Troubleshooter for you. It was Julie Matthews. Ah, that name Julie Matthews familiar. used to do I the troubleshooter. Pratap, I she, thought it was she, she for a did bit. Not. He did not, and neither did Suling. Huh. Because I thought like Bill Matheson was. Yeah, troubleshooter. Yeah. Julie Matthews. He had his wand. His the, little, the old little Idaho stick. High. <laughs> Idaho High? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember Bill Matheson doing the weather? So the Idaho warm-up. High or the Arctic High? Oh, they had all kinds? They had all uh, kinds back of... Back in those days, you had different kinds of wind. Thanks, Trudeau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Now we only have one kind. <laughs> one you know kind what I'm saying? Wind. Oh, you had a, you had a nor'easter, a nor'wester, Arctic high, southern low, Siberian low, Siberian low, Siberian low that would come in, off. or a Siberian high. Yeah, yeah. If you go to the Global Studios, they still have his board with his last. Like, remember how really? he hit the end? It was like beautiful mind scribblings. Yeah, they still have it on the wall. They also have a cutout of Chalmers' wife. Mm-hmm. I took a photo with that cutout. Nothing. Ill taste. No, it's okay. It's taller. Like, it's I like tall, the it's moment. taller than the yeah, actual person, I think. Yeah. Oh. I like the they moment are. on our last show when we were talking about Yegwave, and I boldly <laughs> proclaimed, you don't even have to watch the news yeah, anymore. Then the news commented, thanks a lot. Oh, Aaron Chalmers yeah. commented, you don't have to watch the news anymore, hey? And I was like, ah. Yeah. Really felt bad. That hurt that her, one. buddy. I could tell. Cut yeah. deep. And I really did feel bad. I was like, man, I was. Well, my best, my favorite part was you like were clearly joking. And people on there were like, that is not real journalism. We need this. And I was well, like, a guy from funny. City News was like, oh, excuse me? Yeah, Wave does not go as deep with their investigations. Oh and God. I was like, okay. I watched the clips of that, like in the ninth person being like, this is a pretty good podcast. I love, what the fuck? This is our podcast. But. Why would you shit on Yegway? Those people work around the clock they to grind keep shit going, man. Also, like, it's for a generation of people who are only on Instagram. Can like, I be I, honest with you? I, I bought actually, ads on Yegway a couple of times, and when they sell you ads, I'm like, do you sell ads all the time? They're like, no, you're one of the only people. I'm like, do you do this for the love of news? And they're like, yeah, we do. I love the game. Uh, I legitimately thought that you guys had something to do with it. Like, uh, I thought for a bit you ran so it one yeah. Yeah. Yegwave? And I, I still kind of think you might. Yegwave. You think I have the time to run Yegwave? You run like a I lot don't? of You run a lot of accounts. I don't think you have the time. Sometimes I think I'm Yego Death. 
Oh, really? Sometimes. Sometimes Yego Death says stuff. I'm like, you know what? How is Yegway <laughs> all of a sudden everywhere covering everything? Like, that's... Because we talked about it on our podcast. I'll give it a bump. Yeah. Yep. Got the real-life really bump. Real-life bump. bump, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that clipped it very No, well. I'm not Yegway. They do a great job. Yep. They get things up there like lickety split. Yeah. Like the fires and stuff? <laughs> They're the authority. That was intense watching that from over the <laughs> weekend. Such an idiot. <laughs> They're the authority. Oh my god! <laughs> when it comes to wildfire, you're going to show this to Aaron too. Make yeah. her really hate me. Well, what's it? Can't wait till they get a troubleshooter su- se- uh, segment. <laughs> oh, oh shit! The oh, 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 Watch it. Write that down in your Yegway ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler could be the troubleshooter. <laughs> Walk in with a mustache. <laughs> write that down. In an hour, they they have their own troubleshooter. <laughs> Give me that. Pod isn't even up yet. <laughs> Yegwave's actually- already posted about your iPad. Yeah, <laughs> it's about damn time. Sony Local got iPad on it. lost. <laughs> I've got I've got their, one news anchor from Global fought. and Yegwave on it. Then yeah, they watermarked your iPad. Oh my god! <laughs> Are we going to talk about hockey at all in this Fuck thing today? No. Ice or field? Yeah. Oh man, we watched field lacrosse on ESPN, and it's I tried to, and I tried to bet on there it. There you but go. I uh, There's our guy. Field lacrosse, no joke. The it goalies wear no equip like no equipment. Like they have no shin pads or anything. They're just normal people. They just stand there like an asshole with their stop like head. a cricket ball being yeah. rocketed at you. So yeah. like man, there's times they're like picking five hole and the guy in no pads is like going down on his knees and it's like what? just squeaking oh, by man. as you know what. Is a cricket, have is some a cricket ball like a hard rubber? No, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's leather. It's le- it's hard, but it's leather on the yeah, outside. It's filled with, filled and, with cat hair. See, lacrosse balls are hard, but they they do have a little give. They'll still hurt as hell. But oh, they're they're, they're, they're not like a baseball. Oh, but they the, are but dense. But they're they not are dense, as much as man. A baseball, but they, yeah. they chuck oh, I, I feel like they would, man, because they're heavy. I, yeah, I remember like hurt real bad when I was younger. My dad, clearly making a statement about my toughness, said, "Hey, I think you should play lacrosse." Hmm. And I was like, "Okay." So <laughs> I got a lacrosse stick from a friend, and I sat in my driveway one summer day. I was like, "I'm going to learn how to like do this." And at one point, I went, I shot on my hockey net. And it hit the crossbar, came right back between my eyes, and I was like, you know what? Not for me. I can't even get to like the physical intense part of the sport. And I'm, I'm deeply concussed and yeah. I'm retiring right now. Yeah. And the I ball bounce is so weird sometimes. Oh yeah. TV How can you just shut off? Yeah, I don't know why. Mm. Mm. That's fine. I Remember guess. and I feel like schools have outlawed this game. No, they just always on PD days. What, right? Are we talking about red ass? Red ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh. can't do that. Red anymore. ass. There was one game in junior high where someone brought a lacrosse ball. Oh, 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 oh. why? Wow. Because we, we needed now. to spice it up a level. That's like, that right. was the lunchtime game in the summer, was red ass. Yep. Where did you Crush. go to school? The Reman Center? Yeah, it was, it was, it was prison <laughs> rules. Yeah, the lacrosse ball. That guy's, a, that guy's a sociopath, <laughs> whoever did that. The what? Why, why are you so turned yeah. on by that? Well, we know that he's into butt <laughs> stuff now. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Chalmers lost his iPad. <laughs> yeah. Enough with the ass jokes. Yeah, I'm getting PTSD from my iPad when you, you bringing up alone? the spanking stories again. Chalmers lost his iPad. Uh, He's going to get it back. Yeah, red ass. Yeah. Did, did you play? Did you? Oh, yeah. And I remember in junior high, there was this kid. His name was Jackson. He actually went on to go pitch. He was a baseball player. He went to go pitch at like the University of St. Louis or something like that. Yeah. He could throw. And if you got caught by him in red ass, you would base you'd be like, you know what? I'm quitting the game. <laughs> what was the ball? I think we would just use a tennis ball or whatever. Like <sighs> Did Eric Sobrowski play? He would have thrown <laughs> I think yeah. I was school with him, but he would have also I went yeah, to school he, with Tom Glavin and Greg Maddox. <laughs> and you wouldn't just <laughs> <believe>. Verlander. <laughs> Fucking they boys could whip it. Yeah, Randy Johnson and you didn't want to play red ass. <laughs> yeah. I went to grade four with Randy Johnson. He's not remotely your age. That there there actually, wasn't a freaking pale ass in the school. They all read. <laughs> That would be a great like internet content idea. Pro athletes playing That's recess, a Mr. Beast video. recess games. Like I want oh, yeah. the, kickball. I want the entire San Diego Padres with Mr. Beast to play a game of kickball. I want whoever represents the American League in this year's All Star game. They are playing red ass. Question: uh, We were talking about kickball somewhere else recently, and. What's kickball? Kickball is when you, it's basically baseball, but you, oh. you you roll the ball. We got a different name for it. it. We can't say that anymore. I, came, yeah, I, you, I grew up in a different generation. Could you hit yeah, me too. the guy on the way to first and he was out? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you had to hit him, right? You could yeah. hit them at any bait. But you, just, right. First, but first, you'd have second. to throw it, not kick it at him. Yeah, no, you'd, you'd throw, throw it at him. Yeah. But like, if you threw it to first, they were out before they got there, just like regular baseball rules. But you could also hit them mid. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was telling me that wasn't the case. And I was like, nope. Can you sit kids. here right now and imagine the sound of kicking the red ball? And oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I totally. can hear it. Clonk. 
I can actually, it. when those Gunk. red balls, I can almost smell it hitting my face from like dodgeball or up. something. You want to know how old school my my elementary our soccer field was asphalt. Oh God, that's the Reman Center School, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, wait. It was an asphalt if soccer it had field. Big that high doesn't fences. Doesn't even make sense with razor <laughs> wire. Asphalt, that's man. a jail. You're remembering <laughs> yeah. jail. I can't even. Yeah. I can't even the school's yeah. been renamed. I don't even know because of obviously some. There was a, a bad, bad Holy name Child for now. a different time. What's it was a Holy downtown Child. school. Holy Child, yeah, yeah. Formerly known as Holy Child. Holy Child's got to be about as safe a name for a it's school. Said, yeah. If Holy Child gets canceled, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing left. So we'd play soccer, baseball. So I call it soccer, baseball, not kickball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so we'd play that all in cement. We'd play soccer and cement. You get carved. I, was, I I got so many scars on my wrists and my knees from my elementary school. You can't grow grass downtown. They know. Well, now it's grass. Oh. These kids getting soft. The kids Slogan. hide all they their shanks in the grass. That's yeah. jail. That's I couldn't jail. believe it. I, I, like you didn't, you didn't think anything of it, but then in hindsight, you're like, "What the hell did I grow up on?" Holy Child Elementary, home of the asphalt soccer field. Yeah. It was on home the of the sign. toughest scabs in the whole <laughs> oh, prison just system. Scabs As everywhere. Well. I go. Oh yeah, I got a couple. Yeah, it's not a good playground games. So I'm trying to think. Soccer, baseball. I remember. Did you ever play soccer? Which was soccer? It was it was hockey with your hands, but it was with, with rolled up socks. We go we'd go to school real oh, early yeah, and play yeah, with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like that. mini sticks without sticks. Yeah, yeah, and using socks as a pocket. Yeah, like when there was an indoor recess day because it was too cold. That was a big one. Yeah, I remember my first day of grade three going to the school, and the library was across from the staff room, and looking down the hallway, and plumes of smoke coming out of the staff room because that was the only room they could smoke in. This is in my lifetime. You were raised in the right generation, the smoking generation. Yeah. Our school was sponsored by Marlboro. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> every day on the announcements. Good. I'll Today's tell you one thing I don't miss after being in Vegas and a lot of those smoking casinos. I do not miss being able to smoke inside. No. No, oh. our society does not need that anymore. Like, no. I had to just, I had to get out of there. It's Speaking of the air. coronation, they said uh, during the broadcast that Camille is a chain smoker. <laughs> and because she's queen and they all smoke, they don't have packs of smokes at the palaces because it's beneath them. They to got open fresh up. rollies? No, no. It's beneath them to open packs of smokes. So they put them in big glass bowls because that's gangster. Just a bowl of darts? A it's bowl like a of box. darts. She's like, I'm the queen now. Next nation vacation? Next nation Scrap vacation was pack, a bowl of darts. Bowl of yeah. darts. That's what the Olsen twins, one of them got married and the centerpiece of their wedding was bowls of smokes. Bowl yeah, darts don't count? It's classy. Bowl darts don't count. No. Mm -mm. Bowls ends. Zimbabwe. That was the highlight of the coronation. The mayor president, of Zimbabwe. President of Zimbabwe. God, listening to people talk about Zins. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, I had some. I call, I call this, this guy like, here. Hey, man, those Zimbabwe's? I'm like, oh, got What's you, that? pal. What's that? It, you, basically, Zins. They're big with the kids. They're like packs of nicotine. Uh, we'll find out they're terrible for you. Kind of. Kind of like snow. Yeah, they're probably bad for you. Uh, but the joke with the kids is to work Zin into names. Oh. So I saw a TikTok of this guy, and he's at a bar somewhere, and he was like, I'm sitting here with the president of Zimbabwe, and it pans, and it's Steven Stamkos with a Zin in. <laughs> Great TikTok. I called you Zindiana Jones. Yeah. Zin Diesel? Oh, Zin Diesel. that's a good one. Zinny Dare, I'm ready for one. Zinderella, oh, one. Zinderella yeah, came out a couple of times. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Zinderella? Yep. So, what? They're like little snooze tea bags? Like going yep. Yeah, I'll show yeah, you. But you can opt the levels of them. There's like a one to six or something. Three, three, to three six. and six. Three Every and time six. we try to threes. innovate on smoking technology, we unlock Pandora's box and something worse is unleashed. Yeah. You know Anyways, what I mean? used like to promo jewels code. are good for you. <laughs> this was all in the Well, you can still get jewels in the States of all flavors and flavored smoke still. Yeah, you can. You can get flavored whatever. It's America. All right. Let's get this thing back on the rails. Let's Mountain Dew flavored smokes? Gross. They're, they're, we're probably not that far. Or tobacco they flavored have, Mountain Dew. They have a Mountain Dew alcohol energy drink. Down oh, there. that isn't good for oh. you. Oh. Just it's like all. That was just missing the nicotine what was that one supplement. That, yeah. What's that drink? Four Locos. Yeah, four Loco with tobacco in here. Yeah. can of Four Loco, 14%. It's like nine bucks. Yeah. It's Arizona iced tea of the booze <laughs> And world. you can only butt chug it. <laughs> Whoever told you that outside the 7 Eleven was lying to you, Jay. <laughs> well, the guy we're there told that said, a couple times on the road. <laughs> that guy told me. All right. I'm steering this back to hockey talk for the end of the podcast because it is probably what some people came for. And it's all powered by our friends at Boston Pizza and their new Fanalytics inspired menu. Beer Mosas, you drink those with your mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't. And don't, don't get the idea of taking one share to the one with anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, their new pizza flights are delicious. Liam loved it so much he went back the other night and got a pizza. As flight. he should. Yep. 
It's good living. Liam's also in a tough He's situation. hoping they come up with a cheesecake flight. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm wondering, so Wednesday is a game night for the Oilers. Mm. How is Liam balancing game night and cheesecake Wednesday? It's going to be go lunch. Afternoon, afternoon cheesecake. Yeah. Liam, are you out there? <laughs> what are you choosing on cheesecake Wednesday or game night? Well, he's going to have both. Yep. He's gonna bring have cheesecake both. in one pocket and then the crumble base in the other pocket <laughs> and then assemble it in the crowd and then eat it at the Just game. like a handful of each and <laughs> pop it in. Uh, anyways, the Oilers absolutely rolled the Vegas Golden Knights in game two. Emotionally. I, I, and Podcast emotionally, physically scoring, all of that. I have long been a proponent of saying this Vegas Golden Knights team is not that good. I think it's a gentleman's sweep. I think they're winning both of these two and it's wrapped up on Friday. I agree. Like it's hard not. How to could you feel watch that. game two and not feel that? Way? I, I, Don't I know. get too far ahead of yourself. Is all I, I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I'm normally done. like Stop going in, done. but go but going into the series side like this is sweet. This is sweet. Vegas is good enough. Like and we didn't show up in game one and we almost won the game and then we showed up in game two and it they didn't even have a chance. That first period of game two was biblical. Oh, it was magic, and then Vegas tried to be physical and then we just slapped them. Like they couldn't anything they threw at us. It wasn't enough. I watched the video on the plane as we were just waiting to take off of Kane feeding the guy body punches over and over. That is so next funny. level goonery. Oh, it's so good. Next he like level, had his man. arm pinned back yes. and was feeding it to him in the kidneys. Like yes. what's going to dictate this series is is how Vegas shows up tonight. If they can't show up, we've got them. Three punches to the ribs like that from Evander Kane would hurt so bad. Did but, it look like they were full out though? He kind of looked like he was letting up a little did bit. Did he still have his glove on too? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. Bare his bare fist. And he like Raw went away from it. his face on purpose. And well, like, people are like oh against the code that's cheap i'm like would you have preferred him just dragging kolasar's face into the mix and pounding that like because yeah he was defenseless like yeah if, if he did that to I his face it. then people yeah and the quote after fuck around find out and the photo with the lady in the crowd oh. she he, was dying to he say produced that. three viral moments in one game that's oh, what Evander he didn't Kane even can score do hey didn't you score Last year he gave us the flashing up the seven thing. This year he gives us this. That's why you like having that guy around. We've we've bruised their pride after that game. So it's will they bounce back for that or if they have just folded like the Leafs have? Their yeah. coach looked so shell shocked on this telecast during the first period. It was crazy. He's just looking into the abyss. Well, and uh, according to Daily Faceoff, confirmed Chalmers. Yes, Laurent Brassois back in. Good. Twenty seven saves on thirty two shots. Eight forty four in game two before getting the hook. The team TV's is not back. good. Our team is just flying right now. Like that power play is fucking unbelievable. I it, loved that they, they went scored. three for six and their percentage dropped. Yeah, I know. I know. Like who does that to the point where pretty soon? Do you think refs ever think to themselves like, I don't know, we got to maybe tighten up how many calls we give the others because it's just such an advantage at this point. I think but that's like, a thing. Yeah. Well, that's bullshit. It would be bullshit. I know it is, but like it's you. It's this is. Humans. That's you know? the whole thing. Like you take a penalty, you're supposed to potentially get scored. I on sent out the most simple tweet of just a picture of Jack Eichel in the penalty box getting ready to come out that just said it took seven seconds so funny. to score on that power play. Yep. And then I wrote, ha ha, Eichel, you bum. You bum. Remember how you, <laughs> you goof or you the bum best. is like, baby. You bum. kept screaming, got, Jackie boy. <laughs> Jackie boy. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody's just a bum when we score on them what in the a bum. I, I yelled, uh, Connor's better at one point, and the Golden Knights fan next to me was like, is anyone arguing the other way? And Shut up, like, Vegas. Well, okay, you, but, that's the oh. thing. Vegas fans are so nice. They are so nice. What? So that's the thing. Like, he's trying to be spicy. And like, well, we agree with you. Yeah. And then <laughs> she was you like, you know, Eichel's kind of overrated. Like, Mark Stone's our best player. Like, if he was yelling that out in LA, someone would have told him to shut the fuck up and someone get out of there. Like, someone would have, like, thrown a full beer at I'm me. I'm seeing and... people right now way too much arguing the fact of, Matthews or Dreisaitl right now. I love how nerds you, discount power play goals like they don't count on the scoreboard. Who does? Stats nerds. Yeah, I'll read it's you. Here's unbelievable. A tweet. Oh, I, I just, but, but they'll use advanced analytics for someone who doesn't score and rely on their expected goals. Yeah. So many people with the five on five. Uh, Leon is setting records. There is no question. Leafs no, that's are down. bad because they're on the power play. Oh, God. If the Leafs had dry style instead of, uh, instead of uh, Matthews right now, this wouldn't be a conversation. They, yeah, I'm seeing it so much. It's so it's funny. So let, let, it's because they need something to complain about because they're getting swept right now. What do you think of the "We Want Florida" by the Florida fans after love Game it. Three? I love it so much. Fun. I love it by 
Florida fans or Leafs? Florida yeah. fans yeah, making same. fun of the Leafs fans oh. by how they chanted, we want Florida. I got to say, I'm stunned. I thought the Leafs were going to have that series quite handily, and they have not. Yeah, the Fl- Panthers just look like they're having fun, and the Leafs do not. Like, it's, well, that OT goal yesterday was ugly. Yeah, the goalie. The coverage by the, the goalie, Leafs was like, garbage. You got to think they in just, his mind, he's just like, this is, I, I cannot, like, so much pressure on him at that moment. And he just, fuck, man, he guessed wrong. But it's not even the goalie's fault. Like, the fact that Reinhardt just, like, walked in. Whatever through, he wanted to do. Through all the Leafs. Like, just walked through them uncontested. All the in the world. To even create that opportunity. Yeah. It was... It's like something is like chemically wrong with that team right now. I don't I don't get it. Were you, There's were no we, heartbeat. Were we more surprised with Florida being up 3-0 with the Devils in their pushback yesterday mm. or the Kraken with a 7-2 win over Dallas? I'm What's more the most surprised. Florida is the most shocking. Yeah. But, I mean, Seattle just... Florida and Seattle for easy. If you would have been like... Florida took down the Bruins. I mean, when did yeah. we stop being surprised about them? Fair. If you would have told me, though, beginning of the series, Seattle's going to be up 2-1. I would have been like, okay, they've won... They've won their games 2-1 and 4-1 or 4-2 or something. Put up a touchdown last night on Jake Ottinger. Yeah, who has been playing amazing up until now. Yeah, like he's one of the best goalies in the West, and they are lighting him up. Yeah, they I watched have, game one and game three, and he got lit up in both those. They have given up, or sorry, they have 16 different goal scorers on their roster. They're just a bunch of like second and third They're missing liners. their leading score and have been since like game five against Colorado. And Grubauer has found his groove. Groove is power. Yeah. So, a couple things I want to predict before we end this podcast tonight. Yeah. There's one to do with the Oilers game and one to yeah. do with the NFL or the NHL uh, lottery. lottery. All right. One of those you can bet on at Betway and maybe back up Chalmers' prediction. The other one you really can't, but go, Charles. So, what do we think is going to happen in the draft lottery tonight? Because I hate ping that pong question. balls, man. Ping I, pong balls. Well, yeah. Like, what do I think is going to happen? That, I mean, there's. Who no- do you want? Okay. Of the of the top three teams, who do you want to get it? What's Columbus. best for the NHL? Columbus, Columbus, Lumbo. I'd like to see, see him in bus. Columbus too, because then he would get to play with Johnny Gaudreau and Patrick Laine, and that line might be fun. Yeah. Okay. And Columbus deserves. And we're sick of good Chicago, so we don't want that to happen. Yeah, fuck Chicago. Run. Straight up. We don't. We're kind of sick of Washington. We don't want that to happen. So you're saying Columbus. Vancouver would be neat because of the story of him going home. They have a three percent chance of putting him in Montreal. Would be like interesting. But I think Columbus, yeah. It'd be neat to see, because they, they get the attendance there is good, right? Like, the fan base is diehards, and they're loyal. So, um, I think Columbus would be a cool spot. The conspiracy theorist, theorists would suggest it'll be Arizona. Really? Because then they get their rank, they keep their rank, they got Bedard, and they roll. And, yeah. So, is this coinciding with the Oilers game, or is this before the Oilers oh, right game? Right before. So, it, the lotto is going to be, like, or I shouldn't say right before, at 5 is when they're going to start the show. So then oh, yeah, just be, draw it out. No, they'll draw it out for like 30 minutes. Frank Saravalli is in the room where they're doing the draw. He has to give up his phone and his laptop. He's one of three media members. What if he brings two phones? Why not? I would, yeah. I was, gonna make a, I was going to make a joke to him. I was going to make, wow, they're trusting the guy who ruined the expansion draft with this. Interesting, <laughs> Frank. Uh, it would be interesting be to see get a, like tomorrow when his story comes out of Daily Face yeah. what it was like to be in there. Yeah, he's gonna. I, I'm gonna try to get him on Owen every day tomorrow too. I haven't asked him, and now I can't because his phone's been taken away from him. Uh, so when you say conspiracy theorists, say, are we talking about like a frozen envelope type situation here? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm just saying like if if they were it, to do it, that, in, they would do it in favor it's, of it's the Coyotes. In, it's in Gary's best interest because he's been so hard fighting to keep the Coyotes in Arizona. This would help him. This would tremendously. Exactly. And Austin Matthews will go and sign there after, and they'll have Bedard and Matthews. Mm. That's the thing. Matthews needs, like, a Bedard because it's not Mitchie boy. No, Mitch has disappeared in the playoffs. I saw a tweet. His, like, expected goals for is right in between, like, Luke Glenn Denning and someone else. It's, like, terrible. Uh, all right. Shout out to our friends at Betway, by the way. Uh, the Oilers massive favorites tonight, minus 175. Uh, that's why I'm pairing it with the over five and a half. I don't hate that. That's so my, that's my bet. Last game, the studs. The studs are scoring. I'd love to see two the McDavid, two Leon, and then one Boosh bomb. Yeah. Uh, same thing happening tonight, or do we think we're going to get some Costins rolling? I've got in there? a uh, I got a little cheeky one on McDavid and Drysaddle both to score. Yeah. I'm in. 
Just not to say like he's not. That's not depth scoring, but he just hasn't scored. So. I think Fogel, man. Like we've been saying it for a while. He's dude. I've got a fresh nudes jersey. It's I was out just tonight. gonna say we just got our brand yeah. new nudes jerseys. I'm Anytime wearing mine goal. right now. Yep. What do you think? Anytime let's, goal. Let's do it. If you want to get into game mode tonight, it's early start. Pick up some food on the way home. Why not Oodle Noodle? Because when you stop there, you can pick up an Oilers Nation sticker as well. Boom. That's how you set the tone for game. Two night. birds stoned. Two and then birds. Take a picture stoned. of your sticker. Hashtag. O N oil up. Good job, Charles. And let's have some talk tonight. Twitter was fun last game. Like it was a lot of fun. Yeah. When the Oilers are winning, Twitter's a good time. I'll be on the Twitter. Hundy P. Yeah. Say, say less. less. Say less, Charles. Say less. Say less. <laughs> we have a lot of say lesses. Yeah. A lot of bets. A lot of no caps. I thought doesn't no doesn't no cap it, like get bolted onto something. So well, no, no, yeah, no, he, no cap means like you're not not right. lying. But the but the no most lie. the most famous of it is when somebody says he de goat no cap. Yeah, he After was a player. Or something. Yes. And it's very annoying. And what does no cap mean again? No, like, lie. no lie. No lie. No joke. And cap would no mean cap. like lie. Yeah. There so, you go. so if someone's lying, you'd say cap? Yeah, cap. cap that's cap. cap. Bust a cap? No. Nah. That's a that's a bullet. Yeah. That's a bullet of bear maze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Logan busted a cap in Luke's face. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on this uh, Monday edition of the show. A lot of real-life content recently. Anyways, we'll be back on Thursday. Enjoy the game, everybody!